Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. Listen, guys, we are going to look at five different websites that you guys can get inspiration from. And the reason why I love these websites are because they have some nice animations and at the same time, they're very simple to do. They're not super complicated, right? It's just simple, right? But clean. So hopefully you guys get inspired and start building some nice websites. All right. So let's get started. The first one that we have here is called airfest.com. So we're going to go in here. Let's get started. Okay. Airfest.com. Some nice SVG text right here. We see some animations. All right. Uh, so you can see we have a video here playing on the background make sure you pay attention to the header right there's like a little animation right here too right i like that uh at the same time as we scroll there's a parallax effect on the images now what they're doing with this website is like they trying to give you guys a look of hey this is like a magazine look right like a fashion magazine right so it's actually pretty cool uh, I like the animations that they have. Uh, most likely what they're using is GSAP and also they're using uh, Magic Scroll or sorry, Scroll Magic. I keep <laughs> mixing it up for some reason. Uh, scroll Magic, right? And uh, yeah, so as you can see, nice hover effects on, on the logos. Pretty simple. Okay. As you can see, we have that parallax effect. Okay, we continue to scroll. I really like these images that they have, right? Very nice and clean. Now, for those of you guys that are wondering, hey man, how can I get this type of images? How can I get beautiful images like this? Very simple, guys. Go to pexels.com. It's a website that basically gives you guys royalty free uh, images that you can use on your website. Um, again, right? Most of you guys are not going to be using these images to uh, sell them. It's just for you guys to create some websites for your portfolio. So definitely go use it. All right. Uh, again, it just this website is just nice and clean, very simple. You know, not too complicated. See the animations right here on the side. Um, by the way, I'm probably just gonna open up Firefox because for whatever reason, Google Chrome is not as smooth as Firefox when it comes to animation, especially when you have uh, different uh, how you call this extensions and and things like that. But with Firefox. Uh, I believe it's called developer edition. You can see every single animation, super smooth. The whole website, super smooth, silky smooth. Okay. It's very simple for those of you guys that want to learn how to build websites like this, by the way, I'm going to leave a link below on the description. That's going to help you guys, uh, learn how to do this. Right. I actually created a course called advanced JavaScript, uh, animations with GSAP. Okay, go check that out. If you guys want to learn how to do websites like this, it's on the description. All right. So as you can see, it's a nice little menu here. It's pretty nice. All right. Let's go into the next one. Uh, this website is simple, like I said, but straight to the point. I just, I don't know. I just like it, right? Nice transitions, nice animations. Everything is smooth. It just shows like, hey, they really put in the time uh in the details into this website okay so the next one that we have here is mqfr.fr so probably it's from friends right so we click in here as you can see we have some animations right you see some grains in the background all right uh let's see we have a video playing in the background we have some different textures on top of it so this right here is like a grain that's above it um, all of this, again, I teach you guys how to do that on that course, Advanced JavaScript Animations with GSAP. Go check it out. It's below. All right. So here they're actually using an effect where you basically you hover an element or you hover above a text and automatically you'll see an image in the background. Now, this website itself, I'll be honest, it has so many different animations and so many different things that it, it does kind of lag a little bit, right? And and that's one of those things that I always tell people, like you shouldn't add too much animations to a website because at the end of the day, not everybody's going to have a super powerful computer, right? And at the same time, it's just, it takes too much memory. And it's like, it's not really good if, if you have a website that's lagging, right? Like there's a big difference between this website and the previous website, as you guys can see, the other website was more simple, 
less animations, less things going on. So the browser can definitely handle it. This one is just a little bit laggy because of, you know, like I said, there's a lot of things going on. Like you see this, this 3d, uh, <laughs> thing just flying around, right? This is a nice effect, right? Just hover above things and automatically shows you the text. The images are like offset from the actual element. So it just looks nice. I might use this type of style in the future. I think that looks good. All right. So I really like this website too, but again, if you scroll up and down pretty quickly, you start noticing there's a lot of lagging because it just has too much going on at once. All right. Now the next one that we have here is a more corporate website. It's called cyber.co.nz. So let's go in here. But what I like about this corporate websites is that they have animations, but they're like subtle animations, right? And it's more about giving, you know, a look of like, Hey, what, well, what this business is about? What is it that they do? Right? So this is actually pretty cool. Right? And it's just simple, right? Simple animations. As you can see, like this thing, just, if I refresh this, right, it's a simple animation. This box right here is going to pop up slowly, right? Very simple. You hover above this, this line becomes smaller as a SVG, right? Very simple nice little hover effects nothing is glitching okay there you go right so very simple like i said uh i guess they they work with uh shopify shopify plus partners etc okay this is a pretty big company uh let's see pbt g shock right i guess they work with a lot of people okay this is their page for their work like this right here so super simple animation that you guys can do on a, on a hover effect every single one of you guys should be able to do this like come on guys if you've been coding for at least two weeks with css you can do this simple animation all right <laughs> like it's not hard to do the hover effect all right okay we continue to scroll down okay it's simple animations throughout the website but what i like about it is they're smooth right it's not making the website slow it's not slowing anything down. It's just simple, right? It's a very clean website. It's a nice corporate look. Whoever built this website for them, you know, they, they know what they're doing. Okay. Pretty straightforward. All right. So this is cyberco.nz. All right. Now the next one that we have here is called Feely even numerance, the FR, right? It's another French website. Okay. I like this is a nice little video in the background. As you can see, till the video starts playing, there's going to be a screenshot. And then once the video loads, it actually just plays it. Okay. Nice little menu. Okay. Pretty straightforward. I don't know what it, what it means. I don't know what anything in here means is in French, but it looks legit, right? Okay. So you can see nice animations. Look at that. This is smooth, right? Remember what I told you guys. Sometimes it's not just about having crazy animations on your website. It's more about how good the transitions between the animations are. Okay. So if I refresh this right here, right? Okay. Screenshot loads up, starts playing. I scroll down transition over here on the text as we hover above it, right? It does an effect. All of this is done with GSAP. Again, guys, go check out the description. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, we scroll down. Other animations get triggered, right? So if I come here, it'll bring it back. Okay. Scroll down. Animation on the text. Okay. Nice little fade-ins. Okay. Pretty nice. You can see that whoever designed this, you know, it was done by a designer. And then from there, the developer came in and gave it the final touches. Cause this is pretty straightforward. Like I could see this on a, you know, either in a PSD, I could see that in a, uh, Adobe illustrator file. Like this is clearly a design that a designer built, right? Like this is not just a regular developer. Okay. But at the same time, if you don't have design skills, you can learn from websites like this and, and, and just, you know, not copy what they're doing, but look at the things that's happening, right? Look at their grid system. Look how they build things, right? 
take notes. Look how they come in and, and say, hey, this right here is, you know, like, let's say a title. Right. But then they have this line. What's the space in between this? Right. Like learn from this, learn from like really cool designs and then implement them to your own work. OK, as we continue to scroll, very simple animations, very straightforward. OK, see that? That's that's nice and smooth. Right? And every single one of you guys can do that. <laughs> that's straight up CSS right there. OK, so again, this is the website. Nice little menu. Pretty cool. You know, if you have like a small business and you build something like this for them, they're going to be like, damn, this guy really went on and, and, and build us one of the best websites that we could, you know, think of all right so the next one that we have here is divines.com okay so let's go to divines.com so as you can see nice little fade in when you come in there's a video playing in the background pretty nice i love green i don't know about you guys i love green right a mixture between green and white it just makes things look real clean okay let's continue so as we scroll look at this as we scroll in here automatically it brings us to the website itself once again let me just refresh this okay this is how it is this is like the welcome screen and it's just telling you hey see where a life is wine making of wine making can lead right so you scroll down okay it gives you that you come in you scroll down and it gives you another view another video playing in the background okay sometimes you know websites that are simple right and straightforward and you can tell a story can really just help a business out right so this type of website is extremely extremely <laughs> right it just ain't extremely extremely easy <laughs> right this is like a full screen right full screen video playing okay every page or every slide is a full screen and as we scroll it just changes um you know the highlight on the text down here right so if i scroll up you see it goes back to winemaking continue from there at any moment i could probably click in here and it will bring me to that area okay who we are the idea right so this is sort of like a a menu or a sub menu to help the person uh, go to different sections of the website okay so again you scroll you just slides in full screen all right very nice I, I love videos right I really do enjoy videos and some of you guys might think like damn how, how big is this website going to be and to be honest not that big because this is like videos that are less than 10 seconds or 15 seconds long so they're not gonna take that much space to load up the page okay again cute kit <laughs> right people love wine you can't go wrong right so nice animation when you hover up here okay who we are etc regions all right so let's just click on here you could i guess this is the same menu right i, I, I didn't notice that till now so this is the same menu that is right here it just happens to be in this area okay if we click on culture brings us down to that and we click on about us brings us to the last section okay let's click on mendoza okay nice all right simple website simple grid right a very simple grid every single one of you guys can uh, set this up with css grid right it's not that hard but this is what i'm saying like sometimes building something that's simple and and just keeping it clean right just makes a website look nice and beautiful right uh, let me see what else they have i guess they have a membership let's see if you go apply to it okay begin questionnaire right nice so they have like a their own form this is actually cool i'm just gonna put in whatever put in great click on next okay all right so i guess it's a simple uh you know filling form right click on press okay and there we go all right so so far this is the five websites guys we had was it airfest we got mq we had uh the other one which was a uh zyber co we also had feely uh evenements that uh, that fr right international websites <laughs> 
God damn it. <laughs> Put it in English. <laughs> you know, divines.com, right? Very simple. Okay. So, yeah, man, we got some nice little beautiful websites. Hopefully, you guys get some inspiration out of this and start building some cool sites, guys. Again, if you want to learn more about creating animations like this and having beautiful websites like this, right? Guys, go learn at codingphase.com. Literally, you go click on the description. You're going to have some crazy savings, right? You could do a monthly membership, right? It gives you access to over 50 courses. You can go ahead and try out the yearly plus membership, which gives you access to all of the programming courses plus all of the career bundle courses right and just to give you guys a little uh look inside of like one of the projects that we're building in one of the uh career bundles currently right now we're working on, on the shopify developer uh, career bundle this is a, a beautiful storefront that we're building right and, and what i like to do on codingphase.com is we try to create websites that pretty much look and, and feel as if we're going to give it to a client. So it's not just like, okay, we're going to build some BS, uh, you know, landing page or whatever. Like we're going in and building something that we will put in for production and give it to a client. Okay. Nice animation. Okay. If you want to, like, again, if you want to learn any of these things, it's at codingphase.com kids. All right. You have all of that pretty nice website. Very simple. We're making sure that everything is top notch. And you guys learn everything that you guys need to become developers and, and start making some money out here as developers. It is what it is, guys. I'm out of here, man. We've been talking for too damn long. Okay. Hope you guys like this video. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Show some love. See you guys later. Peace.